dead puppy. Mikey and Wally, what are you doing, boys? What are you doing, Papa? Hey, life's tough, isn't it? Is life tough? Chocola, good boy, Chocola. The camp for the night. The cat at the back. The dog's tied up. Pups in the back. Good morning, McGee style. Here's my darling. Hey, the worst way, but I'm alright. She is the toughest, most resilient lady in Australia. Camped on the side of the road because we're too tired to go another inch. Well, we're heading south again, finally after three weeks away in the north. It'll be good to get back to our Red Deer Lodge up in the headwaters of the Brisbane Valley. It's been a great trip. It uh, started off with um, picking up Rob Fickling from Maroka 30 and Beyond the Divide. Uh, in uh, Townsville and helping Rob this time was Greg Hogan. Now um, Greg's well known in the hunting circles, he's a gifted hunter and uh, camera operator, terrific bloke to be around. So our team was together and uh, we did a, a week long trip on scrub bulls and pigs and we, we filmed two half hour episodes for Beyond the Divide series 2 that uh, we'll, I recommend to people to get in there and watch because we took some great footage. As soon as the boys were finished, we dropped them back to Townsville and um, picked up Harold from Tasmania. Now Harold was up for one purpose and that was to get some big boar pigs. So we went out and did a five day run. Uh, got some terrific pigs, some uh, great footage. Had a bit of a problem there with young Axel get, getting uh, our dog, getting ripped up by a bad boar in the rubber vine. Uh, but uh, luckily, yeah, Judy raced him through to the to the vet clinic at uh, JCU in Townsville and they saved him. And when Harold left, we had young Matt from Cobar arrived in his uh, 79 series Toyota Land Cruiser. And, um, yeah, jealous as all hell of that. We're going to get one of those one of these days. Anyway, we did another week there with um, young Matt. Uh, took some great peaks, then headed down and, and hunted for scrub bulls taking a great big scrub bull so uh, it's been a great trip but we're we're travel tired everything's covered in dust you know there's been such a bad drought up there in the north that uh yeah, cattle dying water holes drying up the landowners are really feeling the pinch storms are rolling in and then just going past with only a few few mils of rain or nothing so it's pretty sad but um yeah it'll be good to get back clean up wash everything off and maybe spend the day with my feet up. One of my favourite hunts that I do up here in the north is what we call our combo. And this hunt usually starts with a couple of days pig shooting, then we move down south and chase a scrub bull. If we're lucky, we can pick up a dingo or two, and then we go and do some fishing for Barramundi or Saratoga. It's a good fun hunt, usually takes about six or seven days. Young Matt from Cobar rocked in here the other day in his 79 series Land Cruiser, and I was instantly jealous. I'd love to have one of those myself one day. They're a really good rig for this country. He's, Matt's watched some of my DVDs over the years and he's been keen to get a scrub bull for, yeah, half his life, so. I won't disappoint him. Let's head up in the ranges here and see whether we can get a big multicoloured bull. We've already had quite good fun on the pigs here. We've got seven good boars on the deck so far and I don't know how many sows, probably 20 odd. Little Axel is recovering on the back seat as we drive along with stitches in him everywhere, but he'll recover okay. It just shows what happens if you mix it with a real bad boar pig.
Well, we finally completed the long journey down to our campsite, set up camp, and the next morning we were away at the break of day. We started heading down one of the main gully systems, uh, heading towards a big pandanus gully that I usually found clean-skinned cattle in, when sure enough, what do we run straight into but a mob of pigs. Now, we had the drop on these pigs fair and square, but it was obvious that if we started shooting here, the chances of seeing a scrub bull for the next few days was pretty low. So we just watched these pigs and said, we'll mark where they were, and when we did get a bull, we'd come back and we'd probably even the score. When you're walking through any of this country, you've got to be really careful of snakes. But in reality, they see us far more times than we see them. This here was quite a large eastern brown snake, and he was quite intent on coming towards us. We had to back off and give him a bit of distance. We were soon onto some good sign in the gully, and I was just saying to Matt that it was a good spot to start really going slow and looking for a bull, when suddenly there was one. Boo! We've just had a lovely big bull break out of the creek here in front of us. We're right on him. We found one of his piles of dung. We tracked him down. We could smell him. Tracked him down into the creek. He jumped up in front of us. Big black hump on him. Horns out about 16 inches each side. And maybe more. And yeah, beautiful bull. But he just wouldn't give Matt a shot. He just broke out up around the hill. Out this way. So we might have to try and get chalky and see if we can track him down. We left Chalky back at camp simply because there was dingo baits out in the area. And uh, unfortunately, if we'd had him at that time, he might have bailed this bull straight away. But we went back and got him, got a muzzle on him so there was no chance of picking up a bait and came straight back to the area. Now we'd followed that bull up for some time, when up ahead of us we heard what sounded like a war starting. There was at least three bulls bellowing at the top of their lungs. There's nothing else but get up there as quick as you can and see what's making the noise. As soon as the cows clear, shoot it. There he is, get another one. Another one in and quick. Hit him again. Talk, skip, skip. Watch him. Good shooting. Good shooting, man. <laughs> Good shooting. Another one coming up towards you, watch out. Another two. So right, we'll just beat them away. Two big bulls there, Mickey. Good bull, that one on the far side, mate, too. Look at him. He's a lovely bull, that one.
His ears down, I think he's right. So he's still twitching. Just watch the fella. Ski, 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 ski. Happy hunting scrub bull, northern Queensland with Clark McGee. Just walked over this ridge here and there's a big mob in front of us and yeah, took the best one out. Monster, beautiful animal. Busted one out this morning. Couldn't get a crack at him but he was up over the hill and gone and we chased him for a few hours and moved on. Then we heard all his ruckus up over the hill so he come up the gully and found these three bulls flew and a big mob and yeah, plucked the best one out of them. All good. Thanks, Clark. Been good, mate. <laughs> Using a 338 Winnie Mag. Took three shots to get him down, but probably didn't need three, but better safe than sorry. Yeah, very good. Well done, mate. Thanks, buddy. You've been dreaming about this for many years. <laughs> it was a hard chase. We, we bust a really good bull out this morning. I think he was about this size. Maybe a little bit uh, longer. I don't think so. Pretty close. But he had a couple of different colours in here, but that was just yeah, too thick down there, too hard to, to get him out of it. And we're lucky we had those uh, this big blue start up over the top of the hill here. Mm. What a <laughs> what got, the heart, a, got the heart going a bit. Yeah, there was some um, a real good scrap. They, they had about 50 heifers together, and they're fighting over them, and they did very well. Planted this one well, hit him. I think it was your first shot, and uh, I think it was the one that really slammed him down. A high break on it. But uh, yeah, very good. So we be better get some photos and get this guy scun out before dark. We've only got a little while now. So we've now packed up and headed south a couple more hours to the coast and we'll fish this evening for king salmon and barramundi and try and catch a few mud crabs. A big storm brewing out in the west so conditions are great. Let's see what we can come up with.